welcome back. We are here on the Unorthodox server. Don't run away, kitty kitty. Anyhow, in the last episode, we built some farms, but today I want to uh, get some of the animal enclosures done. Namely, uh, I'm going to build a cow pasture and a little barn for the cows. But first up, I need to add in some rows, clean up the area around the farms, and get ready for the cow pen. So let's get started with a time lapse. There we go. We have a new road, a plaza, and a building for the cows to live in. Now I want to add in the actual pen where the cows are going to be in. So it's going to uh, follow the road here with the, we're going to use tufted brick as a wall, sort of a uh, following design of the farms which have the tough bricks on the bottom. And then because the road is up half a block, um, it's really going to be too easy to hop the wall or just accidentally run over and get stuck inside. So I want to put a uh, birch fencing along the top and that'll seal everything up and keep uh, everybody in and out where they belong. I'm going to leave this little island here and put some trees and landscaping uh, just to make it look a bit nicer and then run the enclosure all the way back down uh, until we're going to meet up with the building over here. So we'll put in another gate right here and this will give us access to the pin and then uh, top that all off with a birch fence. I notice the fence doesn't really meet up with the gates. Uh, with the wall stacking up like that, that's uh, that's okay because you can't really get past the gap. But I, I still don't know why fences, wooden fences and brick walls and stuff don't join on the sides. It seems like uh, they should, but they always leave that faint little gap. And I don't really like that, but you just got to be careful when you're building things. Because sometimes you can actually get through that gap in the wall, which is sometimes good for you, but also sometimes your animals can get out which is not what you want when you're building a wall and a fence. Okay, so the wall is going to go straight this way, and then we're going to line it up with the other corner of the building. 
and that'll close off the pin. I think it'll be large enough to hold all the cows I need and keep uh, everybody where they belong. So on this corner goes another gate and that'll finish up the pin. And I need to uh, do a bit of work on the inside. So the front is a bit bare. So let's run a path over from this gate over to here. And then uh, we're going to build a covered area right in front of the building. This notched in area here lends itself great to a natural place to add like, a covered awning. So I'll keep the style. The uprights are going to be tufted brick. And then I'm going to do some dark oak trap doors uh, up here for the roof. So that looks good uh, and it's not spawnable. So that's good with using trap doors there. So that's always a concern. You don't want a creeper dropping down on top of your head. And then I'm going to run a line of birch fence along the top edge just to tie it all in together and just have a few wall supports here and there to make it look more sturdy. This thing is going to take a shed load of trapdoors. It's on. Haha, <laughs> zombies can't get me up here. Like I said, this is going to take a lot of trapdoors. Hopefully, I have enough dark oak. I may need to go grow a few more trees before I'm done here. So, let me lay out the rest of these trapdoors and then we will see about finishing up on the rest of the pin. So with that, the awning is complete. I may need to hang a few lanterns around here. So let's take a look. Okay, that's not too bad. I got a few spawn points over here, but I can hang some lanterns right up there and that'll take care of that. So let's get rid of all these torches and that'll probably change a few things. Yeah, I have a lot more spawnable areas. So we'll put a lantern here and a lantern here, here, Over here, oh, in the middle right there. Okay, the main pasture is going to have some trees. So I'll need to hide the lighting out there underneath the trees and take care of all those uh, spawnable areas. So inside, I've not cleaned out anything, especially over here. So I'm going to uh, need, first need to straighten up these doors. Okay, and I will need to uh, start clearing this out and make room for the stalls and a tack room for the cows. With the interior all cleared out, I am uh, going around and setting down the floor for the stalls. So this is just a mixture of dirt and coarse dirt. Shouldn't all be grassy in here because it is inside, so the coarse dirt uh, takes care of that. Now that finishes up the floor. And uh, no tricky dark spots to get me in trouble here. So now onto the ceiling, and this is going to be birch. Um, I think that will lighten things up and make it look a little nicer or bigger in here, I think.
So this side of the building over here, this is going to be the tack room. So it's just going to be standard uh, stone brick for all the floors. Well, I ran out of stone bricks, so I'm too lazy to run all the way back to get some out of my storage chest. So I'm just going to dig out the wall here a bit. So this should finish the job. And this actually gives me a bigger opening uh, so I can connect over to my uh, farm storage area from this side. So I don't have to keep running outside and around all the farms. So I'm just going to add a door right here and that lets me get behind the wall, behind the scenes if I need to. So I'm just going to stick with white concrete powder for all these walls. So that'll match the rest of the building, kind of make it the same. Plus I have lots of it, so I might as well use it. Between the uh, stall side and the tack room, I'm going to leave this large wide open area. I don't even think I need a door on here, but I do need to add the ceiling to the rest of the place. In here is where the stalls will go, I think. So let's figure this out. Um, let's count this out. Maybe five across. One, two, three, four, five here. And one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, and four. So grab some dark oak gates. This will give us a good contrast against a normal oak fence. Finish off the stall walls. That'll give us uh, four separate stalls. And then I can uh, fill in the back wall here with some uh, stone brick. going to add in some beams here in the ceiling that'll break up the flatness and then it'll give us some architectural detail that we're missing in here I'm not going to uh, move any of these lights I'm just going to make them part of the design and the beam will just go right you know basically on either side of them Then I'm going to add a beam where each of these lights are. So this hits right at the door, which is great. It looks a little bit dark back here, but the numbers seem okay. Still, won't hurt to toss a lantern on the back wall, just to be safe. I'm putting a feeder and a water trough in each of the stalls. I just need to keep them away from the uh, fence so there's not a way for any of the animals to escape out of the stall. And I've got some hay bales that I want to scatter about here and there. Just make it look like a real barn. And then a few barrels here and there and I think that will take care of it. So over here is where I'm going to have my tack room. So we'll put a crafting table and I want to put a bed over here because I am just tired of having to wander all, run basically all the way down to where my chest are to go to sleep every night. So I need something on this side because it's uh, just, I'm just lazy. I just want to run all the way over there. And this is just going to have these barrels, um, composters, don't make any sense, but in, you know, the hay, just to kind of fill it out, make it look like a, I guess like a tack room would. I don't even know if the tack room, it's just, I guess the supply room for the cows is what it is. And we have this big giant field out here, so I'm just going to, you know, 
put you know sprinkle sprinkle is it sprinkle i guess i'm just going to put these uh, hay bales out here around i'm going to have to do some lighting i can tell already and random i guess these will be feeders for the cows so that should keep them uh let's actually get started it's getting a little dark so let me uh just kind of reset and come back and finish on the interior here or i mean with the interior i guess finish the exterior okay it's a new day so i'm going to work on this little triangle area i left here i wanted to put in uh, some trees and stuff so this is what we're going to do here and i'm using these uh, nether trees i guess the red one and the blue I guess one's warped, one's crimson. That would be the, uh, that's what they actually are. So I thought that would just give it a different look. Instead of just a normal birch or oak or something. So, there we go. Oh yeah, it works so nice. And uh, a side benefit, another reason I'm using it is the lighting. I figure these got little glow, the glow blocks on them. So that should light up the area. I just need to... I just don't like the way these leaves go all the way down to the ground. I guess the axe is not what you need. I probably need some shears for this, but... We'll take care of that later. But I'm hoping the... Uh, the glow barrier, the glow blocks on these will actually light everything up. And then I don't need to put a lot of you know, hidden lighting or... Uh, oops, not over here. I guess there's no... Nothing in this tree here. Are there any in here? No, I'm going to have to put some in, I think. Yeah, because I want it to look more natural. Yeah, and there's no none on this tree, of course. So I went and made up, or made, harvested a few of these glow blocks. So now I can light things up properly. So let's just go through here and put in a few more of these. Like this is this area is dark, so we put a tree here. There we go. Good. This is kind of nice. You can uh, bone mill it, and you get shrooms show up. There we go. You don't need to just. I used to just put all the you know. Before, I didn't know that it would actually grow on grass. I used to put nether block and convert it all into the crimson blocks. But then I. Just accidentally found out that you can actually grow nether bushes or plants on grass. So I don't know if that's a cheaty way. It kind of seems odd, but so like if I, gra I bone meal it, I wouldn't think I should get all those different nether blocks you know, or nether plants actually showing up, but they do. So like this one, I don't see I don't see a light on it, so I'm gonna have to put one here someplace. I guess I could, yeah, just put one there. That'll work. And then here, let's see if we get lucky this time. I'm not so lucky. There we go. Ah, there we go. Much luckier. Or better luck that time. Okay, so I'm just going to go through here, put in um, all these different plants and I guess different trees through here and light this whole place up so we don't, I don't want to end up with like a mob farm with my cows. I want to be safe. Well, last but not least, I want to bring my cows over here. We'll just lead them all in. This should do it. Well, now we have all my cows over into the pen. So happy cows and happy pen. And that should finish it up. I think we're all done for, uh, for this build. So we have our farms over here. Got our cows over there. Next up, I need to do a sheep pin, but that will be in a later episode. So I want to thank everybody for watching. Hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next Unorthodox episode. Bye-bye.